we can always only ever start from the place that we are right now on our personal journey. The only moment in time that we have power in our life is the current moment. So the more we can bring ourselves into the current moment and be present, the more power we have in our lives. Um, and anything that we want to accomplish, we can only start right now. We can only start building now for the future. Um, what is past is past. So getting stuck on sorrow, why didn't I? Why didn't I do it then? If I had done it then, then it would be now. In the future, this is the past of the future. So whatever we put in motion now is going to begin to collect momentum and we're going to begin to build things on top of whatever it is. And as we progress along, we can always look backwards and see that everything was always, always worked out for our higher, highest good. Everything that was in the past brought us to this moment, into this understanding and the current moment that we are now. So if we begin, rather than sitting in the past and why didn't we, there is no power in that. There is no purpose in that. The past is here to teach us. We can learn from the past. We can take lessons from the past so that we can uh, uh, expand into the future um, with more direct um, the past is there to to for us to have learned from we can never go back and change things that already were but we can take the lessons that we can learn from them in order to uh, expand our lives from this current moment in order to set our dreams in motion in order to learn from the past to be able to guide ourselves into the future in a way that suits us more. And as we look back into the past, we can see that everything happened for a reason. Everything happened in order to bring us to this point of understanding. And the only moment in power that we ever have is the current moment. This moment is the only moment in time that we have power in our life. This moment is the only moment in time that our life is happening. The past is memories. There is no power in the past. There's only the power that we give to the past. Um, of course, there are things that are in our lives now that we have created in the past. So we, if we want to create motion into a different direction in the future, then we need to be able to uh, start now setting things in motion in our lives that will propel us into the direction that we want to take our future. Um, and some things that we set in motion and now they're playing out because the physical, the physical realm, you know, when we set something in motion, uh, we can set it in motion vibrationally. And if we hold that vibration, then it comes into being, it comes into existence. And the physical realm, because things actually have to actualize and materialize into a tangible vibration, which means substance, it, it, it takes the longest for, it's, it's like the tail of the, it's like the tail of the dog, right? So the dog goes through the door, the tail comes through last. So it's like you could see like a whip. You set it in motion but at, only at the very end does the tip come in and go back and bring things into existence. So there are things in our lives right now that are in existence because of past choices, because of past ways of being, past perceptions. And those things we have to ride through. Those are our lessons. Those are the, the things that we learn from. So if you want, it's just like a computer. If you want a different outcome, you have to put in a different income, right? You have to put something in in order to get something out. So in, if we want to change our lives in the future and go down a different path, then we need to be able to um, put a different input into our lives, which means a different perspective, a di change the ways, change cycles, Put spokes and put put sticks in our spokes. Uh, quit going down the same thought processes. Um, allow change if we want change in our life. We have to change first of all the way that we think. We have to change the the vibrations that we connect to. 
all of the emotions and all of the perspectives are always all around us at all times. We can be in the same room with somebody and completely perceive the situation completely different based on what we connect to, the perception that we connect to, the emotion that we connect to. If you could visualize emotions, then every single emotion that there is to feel is all around me at all times. So you could see it as layers or you could see it all as intertwined. And I have the choice to connect to, you could see, you could see us uh, to each and every one of these different, different emotions at any, t any given time. I can put my focus on all the bad and, and I will begin to see all the bad because I'm in that vibration. That is what I am creating. That is what I am seeing. I'm seeing more and it creates this cycle. And the same thing is when I, when I connect to high flying emotions and I get into that feeling of I'm alive and I'm in appreciation and I'm starting to look for the good, all I will see around me are, is the good. It, it, it is something that breeds itself. It is something that feeds itself. Um, and I have the choice. I have the choice to put my focus where I want. My focus is my superpower. I can take my focus and I can decide where I want to put it. Now, I know it's not always easy. And I know on the spiritual awakening, we're also overcoming our weaknesses and the weak ways of thinking. And we are burning through all of those emotions that keep us in those, in those low emotional, uh, low vibrational feelings. Um, but there is, but we can slowly start moving ourselves into a, you know, we can, we can evolve ourselves into higher emotions, into, into emotions that make us feel good, which changes the perception of our life, which changes the way that we feel about our life, which changes what we see in our life. It changes what we believe about ourselves. It changes what we believe that we can accomplish. It, uh, it changes the whole perception and our whole meaning of life. We can choose how we perceive and how we conceive our own life. We can choose the route that we want to go on. We can make our life what we want. And so I think I've said enough. So thank you for watching. Much love. These are my organites. I just want to show you. This is the Merkaba. Milkava in Hebrew, which means as above, so below, as, as within, as without. It means that everything is whole and everything is one. And it connects between this Milkava, it connects between the higher levels of existence and the physical plane. And it actually brings them together. It's, it's, it's like a um, like a bridge in between the two worlds, which once it's, it's like your mind and your heart connecting your mind and heart. And when you marry the two, you become complete in existence. There isn't that push and pull when your mind and your heart and your emotion and your, uh, perspective are all in sync then, and your beliefs and your actions are in sync, then you come into this calmness of knowing and you become connected to your inner self. So when the ego and your higher self become one in action, uh, then you begin to live a life of purpose, of meaning. Um, you become uh, uh, a sacred being, you become connected to everything that is around you and you become connected to your inner self. And there is a calmness and a peace and bliss that come over you. So this is a symbolic, this is sacred ge ge geometry. Uh, inside there are five different types of metal. There's the spiral. The, me the metal serves as like a... Um, it collects energy, chaotic energy, and alchemizes it into a pure energy. And inside there's also different crystals and abalone 
and the spiral serves as a, a place energy wants to flow so it allows that energy to flow you hold it next to your heart and it uh, it also I feel like it's a portal it also brings that positive energy into me but it also brings my energy out so it's the same thing as above as below it's a marriage between the heavens and the earth 